A former Alberta legislature staff member is now suing the premier's office, claiming she suffered from a toxic workplace culture and was fired as retribution. None of the allegations have been tested in court. But let's bring in CTV's Bill Fortier. He joins us now from Edmonton with details. All right, Bill, can you uh, flush this out a little bit and, and explain what the allegations are in that lawsuit? Well, area, area Ella Kimmel makes several allegations here. Uh, number one, of course, as you said, uh, she claims that she was let go for raising these concerns of uh, what's referred to as improper conduct. So uh, she makes several allegations, um, one of them involving herself. She says that uh, in, uh, there are several incidents, first of all, that she outlines uh, involving heavy drinking in offices here at the legislature. Uh, in one of them, Agriculture Minister Devin Dreeshen allegedly uh, uh, is drinking with other ministers and, and staffers. And what Kimmel claims is that she she suggested to him that he stopped drinking and that they left together and then he essentially yelled at her, uh, verbally assaulted her, uh, leaving her in tears. So that's the incident that involved her. The other one, she claims she was in another office where, again, uh, people were drinking heavily, both staff members and ministers, cabinet ministers and that she witnessed uh, a senior staff member uh, within the Premier's office who is no longer employed by the Premier's office make a sexually inappropriate comment toward another female staff member. Now, she says she brought these concerns forward to ministers, to uh, HR staff members, uh, and that they weren't properly dealt with. Uh, the Premier today in question period says they were dealt with, that in fact uh, the senior staff member uh, involved in the uh, allegation of, uh, of a sexual comment is no longer working in that office. Uh, but she also claims uh, that she was fired because of these uh, raising these allegations and also because she was accused of leaking stories to the media, which she claims uh, she didn't do. So it's a complicated suit. And as you mentioned, of course, this is just a civil lawsuit. None of these uh, allegations have been proven or even tested in court at this point. And just to clarify, the premier himself is not named in the lawsuit, meaning there's no standing allegation against him. That's correct. Uh, several several ministers and staff members uh, have been specifically named, and the premier's office is named, uh, but not Jason Kenney himself. However, uh, you know, with allegations of this nature, uh, one of the allegations is that uh, the, the the government failed to have a policy for addressing allegations of sexual harassment. So things like that, they do fall on the leader of the governing party, the premier of Alberta. In this case, that's Jason Kenney. So certainly, the backlash that we've seen so far has fallen uh, directly on Jason. And Kenny from the opposition and even some from within his own party, uh, UCP MLA Leela Ahir, uh, requesting that he actually step down as premier uh, over this allegation. CDV's Bill Fortier, thanks for that. Appreciate the update.